Hello everybody, welcome to game number four of the Cross Platform Cup, Xbox versus PS4. PS4, get an extra reroll there. Um, so at this stage, it is actually 2-1 to the uh, to the PS4, so if they win this one, they win the series. And uh, let's have a look at the teams. So this, is because this is matchup number four, this is the one that I am. So this was the Dark Elf team that I played, which is pretty much anti-elves. Which is, uh, you know, it's not that bad when you're playing against four ghouls. It's it's not so bad, and he's he's benched the rookie one, um, but yeah, it's, it's you know he's got sidestep, he's got tackle. I would I would have preferred to have it been more blodge based. Obviously, you could have had guard on a blitzer instead of this multi block. So, but it's 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 not a bad build. It's just it could have had a lot more blodge. Um, the uh, undead team here. I'm I'm pretty concerned about playing this undead team. He's got two block mummies. Which is obviously great, uh, though they are slow, so I can dodge away from them a bit. Um, a two pom ghoul uh, whites, one of which has tackle, so obviously he's he's absolutely terrifying for me, and he's he's not good. Uh, block guard ghoul, very good. Wrestle tackle ghoul, very good, and block shoe hands to stop the wrestle and uh, to stop the strip ball. So he's got he's got some uh, tackle strip ball. I still I still got tackle against him, but. Uh, He's got a very good team, very good team. I think this is arguably the strongest uh, PS4 team, uh, like you know, decisions-wise, skill, skill up wise I think. I think it's pretty nice. Obviously, the the guard and pom on the same guy. Maybe he should have had tackle instead of piling on. But uh, that, I think it's a very good, very good skill ups. And maybe the break tackle isn't isn't so good. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think maybe it's block or wrestle on the spare ghoul. Yeah, exactly. I think that's maybe, maybe, maybe the break tackle is a bit, bit of a waste skill. But I think this is this is maybe the best built team on the PS4. I think, which is unfortunate for me. Yeah, I don't hate the break tackle. I just wouldn't have taken it myself. <laughs> and like this piling on, it's still it's still good because it's piling on. It's just I wouldn't have taken it. Could have gone for the defenseless guy and would have knocked him down, but instead goes for the very high value target. I'm surprised he exposed him rather than the diamond tackle guy, um, but then I guess he's got to expose somebody. Maybe he's got a dirty player in there as well. He's got 13 players. He could have had a dirty player, could have had a dirty player zombie and an and a extra block goo. Or wrestle. He's got the chance to intersect the team here if he wants it. But that's the thing, Dark Elves are a bit slow, aren't they? Wood Elves with three catches could could have like totally sandwiched this team there. I mean there's only three players here. I think I may have gone for the GFIs here. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I might have made the rolls to make some GFIs to really try to split this team in half here. Because if he just tries to trade blows. He's got two piling on, he's got two mighty blows here. I think just sitting in front isn't isn't gonna be so effective. Yeah, I think I would have gone for the armor seven defenseless guy rather than but then he he got to use the tackle. And you know he's a high value target. You know, you can't call somebody wrong for doing that, just uh just a matter of preference, isn't it? Yeah, see, so he put a bit of a pit of heat on here, but he's just going to move. Whereas if he'd, he'd screened off the whole thing, I think it could have really made him make some rolls here. Can you reset your coach? Uh, like all your stats and everything? I don't, I don't think so. And maybe he's just making you a count, yeah, probably. So probably, because there's people who've been banned before and they just making you a count. I don't like this player here, he's blitzing with a tackle pom instead of blitzing with the normal pom. I think if you're going to hit a guy who hasn't got dodge, I'd rather keep the tackle guy standing. Oh, he's not going to hit, he's going to hit the, okay, he's not going to hit him. He's going to hit him. Greeds it. Gets a pow. Huge injury. Huge. 
That's unbelievable greed reroll. He doesn't have an Apo, the Dark Elves, so that's uh, that's a one dice block there because of the guard. Greed is good. That was greed is right. <laughs> greed wow, PS4 greed rerolls are the best. That is outrageous. So really, there with three removals on to turn two, that's pretty much Dark Elves are pretty much done now, aren't they? There's uh, they're in desperation mode instantly. And, yeah, not good. Not good for the Dark Elves. <laughs> yes, that's true, Necroportance. I did give him a multi-block in the alliance. I completely forgot about multi-stab. Hold my hands up to that one. Uh, not good. So yeah, he's got a couple of sidesteppers around the ball, hasn't he? He's got he's got chances. It was a four plus, but I, I actually don't hate having uh, having him in, and he's he's got this uh, <laughs> that I didn't spot while I was watching it live. He's got he's got this player here, so he can't stop the. Sidestep to that to keep him in base. And also, I think he misplayed with a sidestep there. I think. Oh, sorry, no. I think risky. I think he should have made this block first. He should have made this block first so he could have pushed the the Dark Elf to here. Because if he had just got a push on the Witch Elf, she, should, she could have sidestepped to there, and then he couldn't have cleared the uh, Diamond Tackle with only a push. So I think he misplayed a bit here. Uh, obviously it's marginal, but uh, I think he did misplay there a little bit. I think he should have blocked him first, so he could have pushed him away. And then he, can put, then he could have uh, you know, powered the... Uh, he was still he was forced to try to power the witch elf anyway, but obviously he got lucky and powered that uh, powered that blitzer. But uphill on the ball works, and now the elves have got half a chance, haven't they? And Phil. Like, how crazy is that, that after all that, the elves are just like two dice uphill with Wrestle Tackle? And they've got the guy down. I think it's probably right to go for the pass here. Um, you know, even without the reroll. <laughs> even though it's a long bow. Intercept was a five. So, I mean, if, if, he, if he'd made that... It wasn't, uh, like, obviously he could have caught up, and he could have knocked it down, but he might not have knocked it down, so. It's crazy that as do completely dominant as the as the uh, undead were there, five removals in three turns, they still gave up two dice, an uphill on the ball, which got the ball, and uh, the, the elves could have won it, but now I think they're done. On turn, uh, on turn four. Another removal. <laughs> he could have done, yeah, yeah. He could have done the, the the witch elf could have run around, I guess, and then he could have picked it up and handed it off or screened somehow. Yeah, maybe he could have done. Yeah, maybe that would have been the play. But once he'd had the once he had the witch elf down there, I think he it was right to pass to it. But yeah, yeah, you're right. Maybe he could have done something, but. I think it was really hard to get the ball safe. I think he had to get pretty lucky. Show your hands pick up. Foul the witch. Nah, it's, it's, it's just over, isn't it? It's over on my turn four. Brutal. Jim Fowler. 
sent off for a stun, but I think he, he, you know he's got two reserves. He has to foul that. But the, but the thing is, right? I'm saying, GG. These are only KOs. Second half, all these KOs can come back, and it can be ten versus eleven. So he gets the blitz to get the surf. That's that was pretty decent. Double skull. And getting to surf a ghoul when they when they don't have an apple or anything is pretty good, isn't it? So that was you could definitely say that was a mistake by uh I Medio to get him to get him surfed. But now obviously this this drive is over, you know, with four L's left on the pitch. But yeah, the game isn't over at all. It's just horrible, isn't it? The constant pylons is it's just pretty rough. Pretty rough for the Dark Elves to deal with. Well, they can't deal with it. To just endure. Just lie down at this point, isn't it now? These two. These two just lie down and get fouled. And these two try to run away. It's the only play possible. Another send off. Probably has to stop fouling now. Um, and wall him off so that he can't jump up and get involved. Maybe just one more foul with, because the elves do have three turns left. Yeah, the witch has made the witch has made two cars <laughs> pretty well. Yeah, she does. Have, she does jump up, so she could still affect the play, but not really. Jimmist of fouls. <laughs> so now you definitely don't need to foul because now she can't do anything. So I definitely wouldn't have made this foul because she just can't hit her. You know what? Because now he's. he's He's got the possibility of having 10 players, which is terrible, isn't it? Yeah, se at this point, second half could be 10 versus 10 with, without a second sending off. So I, I really didn't like that he carried on fouling because there's just so much, much more to lose than this to gain, I think. I mean, obviously, on the other, if you cast the Witch Elf, you're pretty happy. I don't know. comes back. Only two out of four come back. Harsh. So six players. Now he's only likely to have about eight isn't which probably isn't enough. Nice changing. So obviously no chance of a one turner here. Just has to multi stab. Super hyped for the multi stab there. <laughs> Two stuns. Is he gonna foul? Oh. Your frustration. Ah! 
He is. He's got the kick skill. That should give him plus one, shouldn't it? Stunned. So he made. If you notice, he made three armor breaks that turn. That'll be important, mate. Yeah, I think it was just pure frustration, wasn't it, at that point? You know, he thinks he's lost. But he could have made all four of these. Obviously he didn't, but he could have done. He could have been on 10. It, it could have been 10 versus 11. And then he would have had pretty... You know, he would have had some kind of a shot. But, you know, it's unlucky that, isn't it? Three of his blitzes are out. It, it was the two wrong ones that came back. So yeah, now at this point, it's looking very, very grim for the elves. No, score with eight is not impossible, but it's rough, isn't it? It's, it's looking grim for him with 8 against 11 and with overtime if it's a 1-1 draw. It's, but then I guess he could go, get back up to 10 and he could win the toss in overtime. So he's just got the kind of... Uh, Gesundheit. <laughs> oh, it's the PS4 to get the reroll, but he catches the kickoff, so that's good. So he could push down the side now or he could just... Uh, pull back and have scoring threats the tough thing is if he scores before turn 8 you know, he can't really stop him on defence very well he got a multi-stab but didn't break either one and now he just gets hit by a mummy I, I really don't like that um, I think he shouldn't he shouldn't have I mean this is, the, this is him just being shit isn't it the, the assassin not blade the coach the assassin is just uh, is just shit and he got a multi-stab and in return, he's three dice blocked. With block mighty blown, gets cast. So, you know. Yes, young cap. These are fifteen hundred TV custom teams. So he actually he actually chose to give multi -block, multi block to an assassin rather than guard to a blitzer. So yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. If you score with men down, maybe he should have pushed forward for a quick score, get his chaos back, and then maybe turn him over. But this was a weird. I can see why he did it, but I don't. I don't think he should have gone, kept going back. You know. Yeah, that's fair enough. I'm not. I'm not criticizing his character um, for taking the multi-block or anything. But yeah, um, I did stream this one live. I think Jolly. I think it was me. Somebody did. I've at least seen it before. I remember it. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Story. Assassins in Warhammer, Dark Elf assassins in Warhammer are completely fucking amazing and we're completely shit in this um well it's un it's undead young cat but yes the point stands yeah exactly uh i just don't like that he went so far back you know i think fair enough stalling a little bit but the first turn run back so that he can't get blitzed by anybody i would have also run back with the assassin not just left him out there to get killed you know he mercilessly killed if he'd run back with everybody for a turn encourage the uh 
you know, scoot over to one side a little bit, encourage the undead to commit, and then switch it back to the other side. You know, if he scores in two turns, he probably just gets grinded out for the 2-1, right, is what he's thinking. So, yeah, the undead just passed the turn there. So, But now he's almost left it too long, and... He just has, doesn't make too much of, as much of a move, I think. But I think the initial turn of going back, if everyone had gone back on turn one, including the assassin, denying him a blitz, that would have been a, a, an all right thing to do, I think. And then kind of push a, little, a soft push, maybe into a reverse or maybe into a hard hard push, and then score on turn four or something, and then maybe you can stop him. But you know, it, it, he wasn't in that dire straits if he'd scored with eight players in three turns or four turns, I guess. Maybe he gets them both back, gets up to 10. But this was not good. Yeah, exactly. The, the fact he's just in a straight line is... Uh... <laughs> yeah, because I think just because the way the game had gone, you know, the first half, he'd, he'd suffered such tremendous casualties, I think. I'm just defending his play here, you know. Like, yes, he could have just tried to score normally. He could have just tried to score in two, but you think you've got to think if you score in two or three, he's going to score back. But on the other hand, you've also got to think with eight players, if you don't score in two or three, you're not going to score at all. So yeah, I think his I think his morale was completely broken, and and I can certainly relate to that. <laughs> and yeah, he gets to he gets to make a bit of a push here, doesn't he? Uh, but that's the thing, he just doesn't have the movement of Wood Elves, would he? If, he? if he'd had the movement of Wood Elves, with like catches and stuff, he could have... I think maybe he's the player, he was to push through the middle somehow or something. I don't know. <laughs> no tilt. Never tilted ever in my life. Gone. Sideline with him. Dodge through there. Dodge out and then cage him off a bit. Something. I just. I don't know. I think maybe if he, he could have kept the ball carrier back and moved two threats down or three threats down the side. I just just not done what he done. I think he went too defensive. The move back too far. Left himself too much ground to make up. Didn't entice the undead into a bad position. Uh, but then it was tough with their players, you know. So it's it's hard to criticise him for it. As much as I don't think it was very good, just because I think it was he was he probably was a bit tilted. To be fair, being so many men down in the first half, he probably just didn't think. Oh look, I've got eight players. If I score, I can get back to ten and maybe turn him over. He probably just thought, "Fuck this game." Yeah, yeah, exactly. Woody's could have probably done something a lot better there. I thought he'd have blitzed there with that tackle guy, but he went he went for the long distance wrestle. Which actually worked out perfectly because he got the ball down and uh, and got the ball out with it. The only thing is he didn't really have a recovery. Well, I guess he had this guy. But I, I would have I would have liked to have kept the wrestle tackle back as a safety. Uh, but uh, you know he's he's got one one dice on the he's got two dice on the ball here, and then a potential pass to the other witch. I think I would have blitzed with this one, even though it should have needed two GFIs, just because they're making the dodges out more likely. And then he got the nightmare scatter of somebody who'd already been activated. But if he'd got like if he'd got a, the dream scatter there, he could have just totally picked it up and passed it, and then. You know, he could have gone down the other side so that this one couldn't be tackled. He could have just gone down the side here. Or with the witch, the other witch up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Could have got to there. And he could have been away. So even, even as bad as that had gone, he still could have been away, but he got a horrible bounce. Yeah, it could have worked, yeah. Like he made all the other rolls, apart from the recovery and pass. So yeah, if he if he got a good bounce, he could have absolutely just been away and, and scored there. But then it would still just been one one, and it's just it's a scary it's a scary undead team. I'm not happy about having to play this with Wood Elves. So after he's already been mangled in the first half, you can see why he was uh, he was reluctant to uh, 
go balls to the wall. But now obviously it's going to be in a real cage and it's going to be pretty much game over. I am yes, yes, Orylenses, absolutely yes, they are in, indeed a series. I've already the, all the PC ones are in on already, and then I'm doing these ones to base. Then they'll all be, in. and then obviously we'll do the last round as well. So that is that is the plan. Yes. Although the replay analysis, I don't think is so good on this either. I didn't realise that he was being sarcastic <laughs> earlier, man, because but. Uh, yeah, you know, it would be better to maybe pause it and stuff, but then I think that's maybe more what should be reserved for, like, the VIPs, such as Last Frogman and Vulpies and Coulter. Um I do have a tree, yeah, so my tree, my tree can maybe just kill their mummies, his mummies, which is just fucking crazy, isn't it? Like, and Woodies are a bit sickening, aren't they? That I can just outbash him, which is fucking stupid. Fucking stupid. I can even just start... He can't really put mummies on the LOS if he kicks, because they'll just get banged on by a tree, which is it's just fucking stupid. Woodies are pretty good that they have that kind of extra extra dimension to their play, even though overall dark elves are more durable. Taking a bit of a risk with the ball here, isn't he? This doesn't seem as secure as it could be. Relying on a relying on a foul here. Gets a Kaz. <laughs> Not a gym foul. You know he got sent off. Nah, yeah, he's pretty he's pretty safe. But yeah, uphill with R Rackle. Nearly gone. Imagine if he'd just gone ra ra wrestle tackle strip, he would have he would have gotten that time. So <laughs> could have by six I think. So yeah, obviously now it's over, isn't it? Irrelevant block there completely, irrelevant touchdown. Because the only thing that mattered the result. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's uh, a win for the PS4 over Xbox there, um, regardless of how the last game goes. Wrapping it up to 3-1 currently. And, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty scared about this, this undead team. They seem... It seemed pretty strong. If you notice, he got three armor breaks in the entire game, which is uh, which was literally all on turn the irrelevant turn eight. So he had no armor breaks in the entire game. Thirteen blocks. He made twenty-seven blocks. He made a lot of fouls, but still, when they're getting twenty-one AV breaks from twenty-seven blocks and X amount of fouls, and you get three armor breaks, all of which were on turn eight. That's hard, isn't it? That's some hard dice there. So. Um, yeah, I think he was unlucky the Dark Elves, but then also his team wasn't built particularly well. It was a bit of a counterpick build, wasn't it? And questionable and lolzy and all this. Uh, but, he, you know, he didn't really get the chance to play very well, did he? He, he was forced into desperation in the second half. Can't really criticise him for that. And I think um, PS4, iMedia player, I think he played pretty well. And yeah, I'm pretty worried for my match next week sometime. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.